Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. We're gonna have one of these every single day for the month of June. And so let's go ahead and jump right into this one right here. Uh, today, we're gonna be looking at a picture of the New York City skyline and we're gonna be looking at a picture of the Statue of Liberty. So what I want to do is I want to combine both of these images, look, which look very much different, and I want to make them look like it's a realistic composite. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've already selected out uh, the Statue of Liberty. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this into the scene. And just for fun, I thought we could take the Lib Statue of Liberty and just put it right on top of the Empire State Building. Obviously that's not where it goes. Uh, so this is gonna kind of be a little bit of an odd ball type of uh, picture here, but I think it'll be fun. And it's a great way to show you how to combine uh, images that have different colors and different tones. So I'm gonna stick it about right in here. And also what I'm gonna do since the perspective is just a little bit off, I am going to just chop off a little bit of it right here on the edge, just because perspective is just, just ever so slightly off. But I think that's fine like that. Okay, so that looks good. We got our Empire State Building. And we have our Statue of Liberty. Obviously, it looks very fake. It doesn't look like it belongs there at all. It just looks really much out of place. Now, what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and get rid of the uh, Statue of Liberty that is, I'm, I'm sorry, the Empire State Building that is behind it. So I'm just going to get a white brush and I'm just going to paint right over top of the Empire State Building. And that way, it's just going to be invisible. It's going to be gone. I've got a white sky, so it's very easy just to take a white brush and paint over it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the Statue of Liberty. Obviously the colors are wrong. It's a, it's a green color. Uh, it's not close to the sunset of these warm oranges and yellows. So what I want to do to fix that is I'm gonna go down to my city layer. I'm going to get a selection of this building right here, which is the Empire State Building. Copy that and then I'm gonna paste it on its own layer. So it's on its own layer right now. And then I'm actually going to put it right over top of the, stat the Statue of Liberty and clip it. Control-Alt-G will clip it. Make sure it fills the entire statue, just like that. And then we're going to change our blend mode from normal to hue, just like that. So what that's going to do is it's going to change uh, this um, Statue of Liberty from that green color to the hues of this building, which is kind of an orange-brown type of color. So that's a good start, but it's not exactly what we need to uh, to uh, do to complete this image. We need to work on the contrast now. The contrast for the city is very low, the sun is in the background, and most of your highlights are on the edges of the building. The Statue of Liberty, however, it's got all of these harsh shadows underneath everything, showing you that it's probably a sunny day when this image was taken. So we'll do a selective color, color adjustment, uh, levels adjustment here. And uh, we're gonna go to our blacks and we're just gonna drag the uh, blacks over to the left. What that's gonna do, it's really gonna kill that contrast, get rid of those blacks, those harsh shadows that are underneath uh, these, these certain parts of the statue. And then I'm gonna go to my whites and I'm gonna bring it the blacks over. Again, this is gonna be killing our contrast out and uh, really trying to get it uh, the same contrast level as the, um, the city below. So that looks all right, but it still looks a little bit too bright. So next thing I'm gonna do is a levels adjustment. And I'm gonna bring my whites in like this and make it a lot darker, just like that. You can bring your blacks over too as well, something like that. And that looks a lot better. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to have a, um, I want to have an edge of this Statue of Liberty that's going on the, the right side of the statue and it's going to have all of these glows on here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to go down to the Statue of Liberty and we're going to do a inner shadow and I'm going to change the inner shadow to a yellow color kind of matching this yellow color that's on the existing buildings. So maybe like a yellow orange color. And then what we're going to do we can change this blend mode to screen and then you can adjust your opacity where you think it needs to go and then change the angle. So the angle is coming from the right and going to the left. So I'm thinking something about right there uh, to kind of mimic where this uh, 
sun is coming from on the right side. I think something like that would look pretty good. Click OK. Let's zoom out. Looking pretty good. And the last thing I want to do is I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to sample some of these colors of the sky, like these whites and these pinks and these um, oranges of the clouds. And I'm just going to kind of paint over top of uh, the Statue of Liberty. And what that's going to do is it's just going to kind of show you that the the Statue of Liberty is interacting with the atmosphere in the scene. So the higher you go up, the more in the clouds you get, the harder it is to see everything. And so I'm just kind of painting, just using a brush to paint uh, a little bit of atmosphere on top of everything. All right, that's pretty much all we have to do. Let me go ahead and do a before and after. All right, so this is what we started off with. And after we did all of these adjustments, this was our after. So you can tell that is so much more believable. That actually looks like it belongs there, which it does not, but it looks like it belongs in the scene. Uh, but you have to look at your colors, you have to look at your contrast, and you also have to look at these edge lights that are going on the side. Uh, but if you follow those tips, um, I think you'll be able to take any type of object no matter what color it is, and bring it into your scene and be able to blend those tones and those colors and make it a lot more believable. Guys, that's all I've got for today. This has uh, been a very quick uh, video, so I hope that you are able to learn something from it. But we have more tutorials coming up. We got one every day in the month of June. So I will see you again tomorrow for a brand new Photoshop tutorial video.